Welcome back to Meshman Studio. So today we're gonna take a look here at Substance Tomorrow workflow and the first thing we're gonna concentrate on is to get the mesh maps. So for you who is working in Mori, uh, baking stuff is, is usually kind of tedious and time consuming. So I've explored other techniques uh, previously. I looked into baking with RenderMan. So today we're gonna take a look take a look here at uh, substance so and also leave your comments in uh, the comment section if you uh, have other means and ways to bake it's always uh, fun to see what other people do in the community so uh, substance is kind of common so these are the maps we're gonna take a look at today how we can create here in substance the normal ID I am gonna skip it's just one uh, surface here ambient occlusion uh, curvature so this one is important position thickness so yeah these are the main ones so let's now actually create this from scratch okay so we're gonna create a new project take this statue low so that's my base mesh so I've set this to 4k it, it doesn't really matter but yeah 4k because I'm gonna bake out 4k maps and hit ok and we get this so you can see here it's quite low res actually and uh, we want to bake the the maps now so we're gonna see them here under under mesh maps so at the moment there is nothing there really except a, a plain normal so we can go here to bake mesh maps oh, and um, you saw there uh, I had my statue low so statue underscore low and I also export a uh, high subdivision mesh out of uh, ZBrush, uh, like level 5 or something of the sculpt as an OBJ file. Output size, I'm gonna set this to 4K under um, low poly mesh suffix low and high. So this is the, the settings I used before. So let's actually just try here and say bake 1001. It's gonna be the head there gonna go through uh, them all here and uh, bake them out here we can see now we are zoom in here so normal world space normal ambient occlusion curvature position thickness so yeah that's kind of what I baked before so it's good to bake a map first because it's gonna cycle through them all later on so you can see if you want to tweak something so essentially if I go back to bake mesh maps here my um, world space no my position so in my scale uh, her normalization scale it's per material so if I set this over to full scene it's gonna treat this as one object rather than H UDIM is gonna have their own kind of uh, uh, position so that's something I did on uh, on the final mesh here. So light to all. Let's see here. Let's uh, rebake this, and um, so we can take bake all texture sets now. And uh, I come back when this is finished. Okay, so we have baked everything, and uh, yeah, this is the result. So. We can see here my uh, maps is as my demonstration before and the only thing I actually changed from the default one here was my position so instead of uh, per material I have full scene and uh, the full scene is, is going to be the entire object here in the position pass so yeah and um, the settings here is is this one so the higher low and so I used the, the high mesh here browse to that ZBrush mesh and this is the the thing you will play around with if you get uh, issues so i'm not going to go through all of the settings here because yeah it's, it's kind of a, usually it works pretty good if you have a, a high and a low mesh like this normal there is no settings world space so id i don't have uh, shaders set up for id pass so this the ambient occlusion is um, race and stuff you can start to play with this if you see issues curvature the same goes here I didn't touch anything so we want to export this now now so we can import it into Mori so let's go here under export textures 
we have all of these uh, settings here and um, what I'm interested in in is the mesh maps so you can see here uh, it's gonna export with these settings here for my mesh map so if I go to your under export and uh, where we see here the config if I now hit mesh maps there it's gonna take uh, this preset to bake out the normal world space id so um, we wanna export as in my case i'm gonna export as exr so let's go to exr where is it there you go uh, so it's gonna be float and it's gonna export all of these and the 4k settings here so Lastly, you want to specify where you want to export them. So in my case, I'm not really happy with exporting them to my documents. So I'm going to take here under my project directory, projects, meshman, statue, statue and say uh, source images. Let's, let's make a, a mesh maps and select folder and say export and now we, we're gonna export them out to disk and then we're gonna jump into Mori and just import them and see how they look there as well so yeah okay so here in Mori now let's jump into the build here so crash plan my projects directory meshman statue and uh, we want to go to statue actually my scenes folder and statue low so that's my base mesh so let's take this one color settings I'm I'm gonna go to aces and uh, yeah so essentially we can just leave this as is why not just take one of my HDRs as well um, let's uh, actually just disable now uh, my environment here my channel channel presets and now we want to go here to uh, this location where i exported my textures hit mesh maps okay choose this scan this directory so we want to import ambient occlusion curvature normal position thickness or space normals and see what happens okay so we have imported our textures here so let's take a look here what we have so let's take my channels here and uh, actually we can pin these so let's take them one at a time here at the current channel so ambient occlusion you can see here it it has a uh, color space we, we can I forgot to set those to scalar so ambient occlusion is a scalar channel that's this up curvature it's the same we want this to be a scalar channel normal scalar position scalar thickness scalar world space normal scalar okay so this concludes this episode and in the upcoming it's gonna be about how we can recreate uh, some of the materials uh, breakup masks that we have in substance but in Mori and uh, yeah uh, consider subscribing if you want to stay up to date and uh, be notified whenever I go live or do one of my tutorials so yeah leave your comments in uh, the comment section and please share if you like this and yeah see you on the channel bye bye